So today I am going to explain the method. I did a small video of uh, methods and strategies on how to solve a game, but this one is actually the method I use the most. I know a lot of people use the method. Well, let me click on a level at level 51, which I actually already solved because I wanted to make sure it kind of had all the little scenarios that, you know, kind of explain my theories. Um, so the method I use is there's, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people that use the method where they pick a line and they go from there. I'm not saying that that method doesn't work. It's just that, um, to me, in my personal opinion, it kind of just minimizes the, the cancel, canceling of certain items. And so the method that I use is I actually just take this first clue here, which is William doesn't have a dog. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put William in one of the columns and then I'm going to put the dog in the other. And if you guys want to know how to do the shortcuts and all that, I do have another video on what I'm doing is I'm just pressing and holding like I knew that the dog went there. So I'm just holding this down and pressing the dog and holding it until it clicks into that box. It actually takes it out of all the other sections so you don't have to sit there and click constantly. So now instead of the method of doing one row where I have everything in one row, it's just not building on just this one row. I have actually two categories that the clues are gonna start building on. So my next clue says the lion has a Swedish flag. Well, I don't know if this one has a lion or not, this column, but I know this one doesn't have a lion, so I am just gonna take the Swedish flag out of there. And then the next clue says the rabbit isn't German. Well, I don't know where the rabbit is, because I can't do anything with that. Um, Peter is Korean. Apparently, well, I know that William's here, so I'm going to take the Korean flag out of William's spot because Peter's not there. Then I'm just going to fast forward and go through the these set of clues just once. So, actually, let me just go through a couple more. So, the dentist has a Zeppelin. I don't know where the dentist is right now. The ambulance has a $50 bill. Don't know where that is. Panda has a Zeppelin, which this doesn't have. Dog... Panda's not there, so the Zeppelin won't go there. The lion has the tank. Well, this is a dog. Dog doesn't have a tank, so the lion does. So I take it out and um, just keep going. Let me until go until I can build more clues. Okay, the dog has a dollar bill. Well, I'm going to put the dollar in there. So there's another category, even though it's in the same row. There's three different categories that you're building this on. Um... Peter Cat. I'm just skipping through a clue until I find something. Okay. Okay, so here's a clue that I can actually build on. So the dog doesn't have Peter. That sounded wrong. Peter doesn't have a dog. Whatever. So I'm going to take the P out of the dog. That really sounds weird. Um... So I'm going to start a category because I know P Peter's not in either one of these. So I'm just going to start another category based on Peter. So now, even though that these are the certain categories, you have still kind of like a selection of things you're building on. So just one row. So what I'm going to do, and they said Frank is Japanese. going to take Japanese out of there. And, you know, eventually maybe the dollar bill doesn't belong to the Japanese person. And so you could take the Japanese flag out of here, which will be all three categories. The Japanese flag will be clear. So you can start another category with the Japanese flag, which will give you one, two, three, four categories to start with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast forward through this real quick, go through these set of clues until I get to clue number one again, and I will get back to you. Okay, show you again just to give you more information. Looks like that if I was to select this row as the like the row method, I probably would have be able to solve the puzzle too, but I mean that's like guessing too. Well, I'm this far and on clue 46 it says S has the bunny. Well, this doesn't have the bunny, so the S doesn't go there. Bunny doesn't go here cuz Sarah's not there. So now I have another category where it is letter and 
animals that I'm building on. I just happen to remember that the line has the tank, so I can take the tank out of there. But So now I'm just building on a little bit more. So. Okay, now I'm back to clue number one. Well, I skipped over to clue number one because I already finished it and shelved it. So, you kind of see... Uh, you know, I kind of got a little variety. Um, the only thing is with this method is sometimes you get to this last thing and this row has not been touched yet and you're kind of hoping that it will kind of work its way out. Sometimes you do have to guess. And that, that's why sometimes the other method works. Um, so I will keep going through these clues and hoping that one of these will tell me that, you know, maybe the R doesn't have a dollar or something. So... When I get to that point, I will show you again. Okay, so this puzzle works out perfect. Um, so I have this one row that I have done absolutely nothing with. And I don't know if the M goes there or the R goes there. So I am on this clue, which is number 17, that is telling me that the nickel doesn't belong to the sunshine. Oops. It's a beautiful day outside. It's so sunny. It's hotter than all get up, though. So, this one has a dollar, so it doesn't have the sun there, which works out perfect because all these other places doesn't have a sun. So, ta-da! The sun will go there, and the nickel will go there, which, there, I have something in this row now. So, later on, it will tell me, I'm sure, you know, which one letter this belongs to, and that row would be complete, and that would be amazing! So, I will just keep playing until I find... You know, thing. Sorry, I'm so shaky. I'm trying to balance this on a book. I, I've been going through the clues and I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, oh, I'm stuck. And then sometimes you just kind of have to take a look around when you do the pressing method because I realize that, oh, wait a second, all this time I was going through clues, Italian flag goes there and it's still in all these other ones, so. Ta da! The only thing, though, when you want to do that, if it just automatically puts that flag in there you do need to touch it and go like that so you know takes that Russian flag or whatever that is from the other ones and it put a rat there which means the lion's here and I remember that the tank goes here because the lion has a tank and he has a Swedish flag and I know that the tank has a violin so and then, when I first went through this puzzle, I was going through the clues a lot, and I'm like, man, I'm completely stuck. So I thought I started to have, the, or had to start guessing, and then I realized that, oh, the harp is out of process of illuminations only in with the panda, so that helped me solve the puzzle. So you kind of do, you know, when you get stuck, just kind of look around, make sure that, you know, out of process of illumination, something's just not stuck there by itself, because that can get you stuck. Now watch me play really fast. So in this uh, particular puzzle, which is extreme level 51, um, the method that I usually use, which is, you know, kind of scatter the clues, just build one column at a time as opposed to rows this way, it seems to have worked out pretty good. My last clue, the pilot, sorry I couldn't get everything in the same shot, um, pilot doesn't have a dime, I probably have a couple of hundreds, anyways, I hope that explains everything, or my method, Uh, a little bit better um, if you have any questions or comments or if you actually would put how you do your method in the comments so that we can share that with everybody too because everybody has a different way of doing their their game so thank you for watching please subscribe and on the link on our on this YouTube page we actually do have a Facebook page where we have screenshots of the answers too. So anyways, enjoy and have a great day. Bye.